a factory de-domed Cree XHP 70.2 LED. That's a bold move. The smooth glassy reflector coupled with our D-Dome XHP 70.2 create a perfectly round, smooth-edged hotspot. Very little corona. There is a slight bit of a yellow-green trim on a wall, but outside it's just oohs and ahs. This light was sent to me by Ace Beam 4 Review, so thanks to them. My first impression of this light is that I really like the finish. I like the finish on all my Ace Beams. It's a good matte black. It's nice and sticky. Beautiful color, too. I like the contrast of the black against the silver-gray colors on the bezel and switch. Inside the light, we have the classic Ace Beam 4 18650 battery adapter with these nice heavy contacts. 6200 lumens out the front, by the way, which I think is very respectable for a single emitter light. Around the back, we have our quarter 20 tripod mount and what appears to be a hot shoe mount. I decided to try that out and see how it went, and uh, I was right. It appears <laughs> to be a hot shoe mount. I couldn't get it to stay on there by itself, but fortunately, I was still able to get this on my camera just fine using the tripod mount. Our user interface is a one-click on, one-click off. From the off position, a short press will give you moonlight. From the off position, a long press will give you the SOS. Three fast clicks gives you strobe. From the on position, a press and hold will cycle you through your modes, low, medium, and high. And at any time, you can double-click to go to turbo. I mounted each of these lights to the top of the camera. The K65 is so powerful, it even beats my Convoy L6 with the Ultralux package. This thing is amazing. It's a crazy thrower and the hot spot is huge. No dark cross in it, it's just smooth. That D-domed XHP 70.2 is pumping out 257,000 candelas versus the 90,000 of the Ace Beam L16 and its XHP 35 high intensity. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good luck.